climbing becomes this game or like this endless pursuit, I guess, where you set goals, but it's, it's funny how quickly once you achieve those goals, you're ready to move on to the next thing. You know, there's always the next project, getting to a higher grade, even just getting to like the next rest point or the next move on the climb you're doing. It's almost as if you never really reach the top of the mountain. And it's funny because realistically, in the end, you're just grabbing rocks, but that's kind of what makes it so special. When you specifically try to rationalize the reasons why you climb, it stops making sense. You know, there's no real reward for success and no punishments for failure. I guess in this way you climb just for the sake of climbing. And really there's, there's nothing to show for it even when you do send a climb except for maybe bragging rights with your mates. One of the beauties of climbing is you can always strive to be a little bit better, a little bit stronger, a little bit fitter, a little bit smarter, a little bit more confident. Really it all, it all comes back around and it does make a difference. I guess in the end it, it pays off to be ambitious. It all comes down to how much you want it and what you're prepared to do. I'm Mitchell Tasker. Right now we're at Eleonora in Sydney, one of my local climbing spots. Sydney's a great place to live. Not only do you have the ocean right on your doorstep, but you've got lots of great rock climbing spots that many people don't know about. Pretty cool to be able to knock off work and just get down to the crag within, you know, 20 minutes, see all your mates there. You know, on the weekends, if you want to get away, you've got the Blue Mountains and Nara within two hours, which by themselves are also world-class destinations. Really, there's no limits in climbing. It's like there's always a slightly better version of yourself just waiting around the corner, almost teasing you, wanting you to put in that extra time and effort. Each goal you set in climbing has its own moment of importance where it really is the centre of your existence and the rest of the world just fades away. And I guess the irony of that is once you latch the hold and hold on, you come to a quick realisation that there's a million other holds on a million other climbs. And again, that hold that you latch suddenly fades away from your thoughts like it never even mattered in the first place. I knew nothing about climbing till I was sort of 23, 24. Most people I meet have no idea what I do. I didn't even really know that there was a climbing gym around. It's crazy how far we'll travel just for a rock climb or even a boulder. It's good to see the sport's definitely getting more popular and Sydney just happens to be a great place to climb. You know, people are building their own climbing walls. It's good to see like strong people coming out of Sydney as well. One of the coolest things about climbing is the psych that exists at the crags. You know, it doesn't matter who you are, whether you're the best climber in the world or the worst climber in the world. Everyone's always really psyched to see you send your project or, you know, even take a good whip is always pretty exciting. And that's one of the things that really keeps you coming back, I think. It's sort of like, it is a great community and you, you meet good people, basically. Come on, dude, you got this. Sometimes you can become so invested in climbing. Once you find a route that you want to send, it really becomes a bit of an obsession. You become like emotionally invested in sending it to the point where you spend you know, the days off the wall just thinking about why you failed and how you're going to succeed. 
But I guess with all the failures, it's, it's really not that hard to stay psyched about a climb. That's the beauty of it. And I guess that's why I love doing it. It's difficult to put into words exactly what it means to be a climber. The enjoyment, the difficulties, the beauty of it. In the end, I guess the best thing to do is to just get out there and do it. <laughs> 